Hello friends, I am Sravan Lakshmi Pisupati and welcome to my channel Sparkling Future. Today we will see one or two exceptions that we usually receive uh, in Spark job when we are running the jobs in uh, local machine. So before starting with today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and uh, share the videos with your friends. And also please click on bell icon for the notifications about the latest videos. So while working with Spark jobs, you might have encountered these exceptions, could not locate executable null bin within utils, and also null entry in command string. So these two exceptions. So today we will see how to resolve these kind of exceptions. So before even starting the jobs, when you wanted to uh, work on uh, Spark jobs in your local machine, you have to set the Hadoop home to the winutils.exe file, winutils.exe file. Here you can see right winutils.exe file. So you can download it from the internet and save it under C drive or any drive you want to in that C drive Hadoop folder. Inside that you have to save that winutils.exe file and go to environmental variable and set up this, uh, this uh, path for the Hadoop uh, win, winutils.exe file as Hadoop home. So even after setting this variable, you will get this exception sometimes and actually we can ignore this exception. Could not locate the executable is there, right? This can be ignored because this won't stop the Spark job. It won't terminate the stop Spark job, but it will show the exception. But the process will continue. I mean, it will perform the remaining set of operations. But whereas when you are trying to write a file into your local machine from a Spark job, or if you wanted to print any messages in your console, then you will encounter this null entry in command string, this kind of exception. So this is the uh, like CH mode 644, like permission related exception that you will encounter when you are trying to write a file or writing the messages to the console. And this exception terminates the Spark job. So you will not be able to perform the next steps because of this exception. So now let's look into some sample code to see how to resolve these exceptions in Spark code using Scala. So I have taken uh, one of the old uh, videos like uh, codes that I have used in other videos. So what exactly I am doing here is uh, this is this Spar uh, Scala uh, code and uh, in this Spark job I have created a Scala object, defined the main method, created the Spark session and uh, created a df out of a csv file and from that csv file i am uh, planning to i mean i wanted to write that as a xml file into this folder so now let me run this code without setting up the hadoop home directory now you will clearly understand why there is a need for setting up that uh, uh, setup programmatically So friends, if you see here, first we have got uh, this exception, could not locate the executable null bin winutils.exe in the Hadoop binaries. And also another exception from here, I Java IO exception, null entry in the command string, null ch mode, because I am trying to write that part file into this folder after converting the data frame to XML format, I wanted to write in this uh, folder and this is saying the CH mode 644. Okay, that is because this win, win utils is needed uh, uh, because it's a binary distribution for the Apache Hadoop 2.0 release. So if you wanted to run uh, these kind of uh, uh, like uh, operations, right? You wanted to write a file into your Windows directory means it's an operation like it, it needs a permission. So for, for that, this binary file is needed. So this uh, winutils.exe file. And in my machine, I have this in under this path, C drive, Hadoop, and winutils.exe. Hence, we have to set the property here. Just before that Spark session, you have to set the property like system.set property hadoop.home.dir, which is directory and in the second parameter you have to mention where exactly you have this winutils.exe file in your local machine 
So this is very important step so that these two exceptions will be resolved. So now I have mentioned it set, set property, right? So I have already set Hadoop home in my machine. Still I am getting that because of that binary is, uh, this binary is missing uh, for running this job in the Windows machine. We, we are trying to update the Windows directory, right? So for that permission related one, we have to set this property. So you understood, right? This set system dot set property, Hadoop home directory, and this is where in this folder I have C drive Hadoop Vinutis.exe. exe. So now save it and let me run this code. So now if, now if you notice initially starting itself I was getting that Vinutis.exe exception. Now that is resolved. and no other exception and the process is completed. See if you can see right no exceptions in the log at all. So now let's go to e drive output.xml folder to see if the output xml files are generated or not. So friends you can see right e drive output.xml and here the part files are generated and this is the file and when I edit this with the text, uh, text pad I mean notepad you can see right the uh, CSV file is uh, converted into XML file and it is saved as a, pa a part file format in the given e drive directory as mentioned in the code. So this is the very important uh, property you need to set for resolving these two exceptions. So friends uh, I feel this is clear to you. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings. Thank you friends.